The Random Tornado 9000 Disposables. The Random Tornado 9000 devices were sent to me for a review from Fumat. These are big 9000 puff disposable devices with some really cool alien artwork on them. So let's talk about it. First the specs. These have 18 mils of e-liquid in them, an 850 milliamp hour battery, they are type C USB rechargeable, they have RGB lights, they use a 0.8 ohm mesh coil, they come in 0, 2, 3, and 5% nicotine strengths, and they come in 12 to 14 flavors. I'm not sure exactly how many. In the box you get the random Tornado 9000 device and a lanyard. Okay, let's talk about the designs. All of these feature different cartoon alien artworks. This has to be inspired by or even direct copies of the artwork from the Mars Attacks trading cards of the 1960s. These were very popular trading cards created by Tops. I wasn't alive in the 60s and few of you watching this probably were, but you might be old enough to remember the Mars Attacks movie from Tim Burton made in 1996. So you still might recognize some of this art. And even if you're not familiar with that, you've probably seen this art somewhere. It's pretty famous. So obviously these are scary looking aliens who don't come in peace. These Martians came to violently conquer Earth. Seeing this artwork today, you probably don't think much of it. But in the 1960s, this was very controversial. These cards depicted scenes of violence and torture, sexy women, and horrifying and disgusting aliens from another planet that is hellbent on killing the human race. And that sort of thing just didn't exist in those days, so it was shocking. And as you'd expect, a lot of parents threw these cards away when they were found. So they're super rare, and if you do find these at a yard sale or something, definitely pick them up. But as you can see, this is amazing artwork. It's intricately detailed and originally hand-drawn. It's very cool, and I like that Fuma included a bit of artistic history in these devices. Alright, the casing itself. So if you zoom in close to the sticker, you can see that it has a bit of texture, which gives it a sparkly design on top of those matte colors. It looks great. But the texture here is also something worth calling out because it might be something that you wouldn't prefer. It's a sort of a rough, scratchy texture. For a lot of people that probably won't matter, but some people are very sensitive to textures, so that's something to keep in mind because you do feel it on your fingers and with your nails. Alright, the RGB lights. So when you take a hit from these, the bottom of the device lights up. The bottom has a clear plastic that encases six small RGB lights that are placed around the bottom in a circle design. While you take a hit, these lights rotate through several colors. You have yellow, red, light blue, blue, green, and purple. And each light hits each of those colors. So you have a lot of colors flashing through here. And these lights are bright. They'll light up during your hit and keep going for about seven seconds. The plastic cover over these lights has a pattern of lines too, so it gives those flashing lights a circular, sort of kaleidoscope look. I think it's pretty cool. There are two little airflow intake holes at the bottom of the device. The holes are actually big enough to where you can't get a tight draw, so this device is designed for bigger lung hits. You can take mouth to lung hits here, but the draw is so airy that you can only take short, smaller hits, which for me isn't very satisfying. But if you really wanted to, you can plug one of those intake holes on the bottom of the device to get a tighter draw. It's a bit cumbersome to cover a hole and take a hit at the same time, but it does work. And you could put a piece of tape over one of those holes too, or even use a sticker that came with a device that covered up that USB-C port. But really, this device is designed for bigger draws, so that's probably who should be buying this. If you like tighter draws, go with one of the other devices that Fumat makes in the random line, like the, the Game Box or the Subliss Bingo. So that's the... That's me taking a mouth to lung hit. You can take mouth to lung hits, it's just very airy and slow. Let me take a lung draw. So a lot of vapor. It's definitely good for lung hits. A little tight though, a little restricted lung hit. All right, let's go over flavors and e-juice. These devices hold a massive 18 mils of e-liquid, so you're gonna get a lot of use out of these. And that's where the name Tornado 9000 comes from, because you should get about 9000 puffs from each device. I remember when e-liquid would come in 15 mil bottles, so it just blows my mind that you get more than that in a disposable vape. Okay, so let's talk about the flavors that I received. So they sent me guava ice and gummy bear. So guava ice first. This one is strong in both guava and ice. The guava is really good and sweet. 
I don't know if I would call it a real natural guava, but more like a guava drink. So if you've ever had a guava juice, that might give you an idea of that guava here. It sort of reminds me of like a refreshing pulpy juice. But on top of that, you have that ice flavor. Usually ice flavors have just a hint of ice or more of a sensation of cooling. But the ice actually seems to contribute a lot to the flavor in this one. It's not just super icy, but also minty. It's a tasty combination. All right, and then gummy bear. So this is an awesome gummy bear flavor. A lot of ape companies have gummy bear flavors and they're very mild and taste more like a typical white gummy bear. And those are good and I like them, but this one is different. This is more like a very fruity gummy bear. Maybe like it has the white gummy bear taste so that it maintains that realistic gummy bear flavor, but then it's mixed with other fruit flavors, maybe like a, a fruit punch. And the flavor here is strong, which I like too, and it's sweet. The flavor and sweetness is perfect for me. It's not overwhelming or like something I'd get tired of. So yeah, the flavor production is very good and that's probably helped by the fact that these use a 0.08 mesh coil. Mesh coils are great for flavor and for efficient hits. So it makes sense that these taste so good. So on Fumat's website, they list 12 flavors, but the two that I just reviewed aren't in that list. So they might have more coming, but here's what the other 12 flavors are. They have blueberry, raspberry, Mr. Blue, strawberry watermelon, orange soda, watermelon bubblegum, rainbow candy, pink lemonade, peachy mango pineapple, strawberry banana, lush ice, black dragon ice, and aloe grape. So that's a lot of great sounding flavors. And about the nicotine, so you can get these in 0, 2, 3, and 5% nicotine, so pretty much any of the normal strengths that you'd probably prefer. I'm using 5% nicotine here, which is what I like, and it seems to be working as I would expect. I get a really good nick hit from these. All right, the rechargeable battery. With 18 mils of liquid, you obviously need to recharge these to get all of it. So the Tornado 9000 has an 850 milliamp hour internal battery, which I'd say is a pretty good sized battery. I don't see any problems with this lasting a full day of vaping b before needing to recharge it. It charges using a USB-C cable, which is not included, so you'll need to provide your own cable here. So yeah, like I mentioned earlier, every one of these comes with a lanyard. I don't use lanyards, so it's not a big deal for me, but for anyone who does, I think it's really cool that there's one in each box. It's a lot of lanyards to give out, and something unexpected, because when do you ever get anything extra with a disposable? It's a good lanyard too. It's a strong material, plenty long, and it's detachable using one of those little plastic clicky snapping pieces. And you'll notice that the device itself doesn't have a lanyard connection hole to connect to, which is why this lanyard has a rubber ring. It's tight, so you really have to stretch this around the device, but that keeps it really secure. And the rubber sticks well to the device too, so it's not gonna slip out on you. So that's the random Tornado 9000. There's a ton of e-liquid in these, the flavor tastes good, and it comes out strong. The artwork is awesome, and they just perform well. But there are some things worth mentioning here that could be drawbacks for some people. For example, the scratchy texture, and that this is pretty much long draw only. The draw style isn't a problem necessarily, it's just that that's a style of vaping that you'll want to prefer if you buy these. So who are these for? In short, anyone who likes an airy draw and who loves old school nostalgic alien comic style artwork. All right. That's the Random Tornado 9000. These were sent to me for the purpose of review from Fumat. Thanks for checking out this review, and I'll catch you in the next one.